What I discovered was pretty appalling. We were in terrible financial condition with very little prospect of being able to dig our way out of a, a pretty deep hole. And then I was shocked very shortly afterwards to hear that uh, the CEO had resigned, so there was no top management for the, for the hospital. And then the entire board of directors resigned, so there was no governance. Not having a healthcare facility within this area um, could be life-threatening for many different reasons. We have high altitude sickness that comes off of Mount Whitney, uh, rattlesnake bites and hiking accidents, um, motor vehicle accidents in the wintertime and some skiing accidents. Um, we have a lot of different things that present to our emergency department. Um, again, from a stub toe all the way to a gunshot wound. We started going under and it affected the employees tremendously. Um, we did not get paid in a timely manner. We were well, working with no pay was definitely a struggle. <laughs> About a month, no pay. Well, this is a small community, but we serve a lot of tourists that come to climb Mount Whitney and also tourists that are traveling through mm -hmm. from LA going to the young skiing in the mountains. So we do have a lot of patients that come and use our ER. Plus, we have an elderly population, and a lot of patients really depend on our emergency room. Mm -hmm. I, I really think without the help of HCCA coming and stepping in, I do not believe um, we would be here today. There, there is no way. When we heard that HCCA was coming in, that was my silver lining. Um, I, I never really gave up hope because I knew that nobody was going to let this hospital close down permanently. HCCA has a lot to do with that and I'm thankful that they're here. People were actually leaving the community and moving out, but now people are, a lot of the people who used to work here before are all trying to come back. They're seeing, they're seeing good results already. For me, I can see it no other way other than a miracle. That's, I believe in miracles and I believe that was what was meant to be. We are so thankful they came in to help us through this very, very hard time. Uh, we are very thankful, and not just the employees here, the community is very thankful. Because it's the people who work here who are, they, we know them, they're our neighbors. You know, we see them in the stores when we shop and in the church uh, or in the park. Um, and yet when we come here, there they are ready to open their arms and take care of our loved ones. We're very excited about taking the trip to the South Inyo Healthcare District tomorrow and bring the HCCA team. The hospital is up and running, its license is back, and we're excited to give the community the healthcare it very, very much it deserves. This is the um, newest HCCA site. It's a healthcare district here, the Southern Inyo Healthcare District. So we were able to restore our healthcare services to this community. As of last week, we got the license restored. So we're very excited about that, and the community is extremely grateful. Our emergency room has been open for about a week and we've um, treated a number of patients, so everything is going extremely well. The hospital was about ready to close. The leadership abandoned ship, which frankly I've never seen in my life. But you guys stayed and you remained dedicated. And many weren't even paid for weeks. I mean, you stayed dedicated to take care of the patients. Folks, as sure as I sit here today, I want to tell you that was what internally made me decide that this is absolutely worthwhile to pursue because we have great people. And that's what makes a difference. If this is not the table of chairs, it's the people that run it. And look at how far we've come in a short period of time.